Welcome back. Example 6-1. So statement is draw the shear and movement diagram for the beam shown in figure 6.4a. So you can see this is a simply supported beam that is acted upon by a uniformly distributed load of W. Clear? The length of this beam is L. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that if we remove this support, so there will be a reaction force. Let this is R A. And if we remove this roller support, so we will have a reaction force that is represented as RB. So we will find this reaction force RA and REB by using equation of equilibriums. Equation of equilibriums. So how? So let's move and... The first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point B is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So first moment due to force is R A and perpendicular distance is L and that is producing moment about point B and this is clockwise. So I will write it minus R A into L. The second moment that is produced by this distributed load and this distributed load when converted into point load so it will be w into l and that will be acting at a distance of l by 2 from both side clear and that will also produce a counterclockwise moment and that will be positive so i will write plus w into l into l by is equal to zero i will also show this load distributed load when converted into point load so it will be w into l and that will be l by two now if you solve this so you will get r a into l is equal to w l square over two so from here you will get R A will be equal to W L over 2. So this is your reaction force at point A. Now we will move to another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along Y direction must be equal to 0 and force taken upward as positive. So you can see we have three forces. One is R A. The second is R B and third one is W into L. Their sum must be equal to zero. So R A which is W into L over two minus this one which is W into L plus R B is equal to zero. So again from here you will get R B minus W L over two is equal to zero. So from here you will get rb will be equal to wl over 2 now you have both the reaction forces ra and rb so we will move and we will section the beam at any point so if we section the beam at any point and draw the free body diagram so for x is greater or equal to 0 and less or equal to l so if i cut the beam and draw its free body diagram so definitely here we have r a which is w l over 2 and we have a distributed load which have magnitude w and when we convert it it will give you w and let this distance is x where we have cut this beam so it will be w into x and when you cut it and at any distance so there will be you uh, there will be a, a, a shear force and reaction moment and let this is n and this is point one so we'll find this shear force and uh, bending moment so how we will so first uh, equilibrium condition is sum of all forces about about y direction must be equal to zero so you can see that we have three forces one is this one the other one is this one and third one is shear force their sum must be equal to zero so i will write w l over 2 minus w into x 
minus v is equal to 0. So from here you will get v is equal to wl over 2 minus w into x. And if you take w as common, so we will have w into l by 2 minus x. This is the shear force equation for the range x is greater than 0 and less or equal to l. Now we will find the moment. So sum of all moment about point 1 is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So first moment is due to w l over 2 and perpendicular distance is x and it is producing clockwise about this point 1. So I will write minus w into l over 2 and perpendicular distance is x. The second moment is due to this w into x and that will be acting at a distance of x by 2 and it is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive. So plus w into x into perpendicular distance is x by 2 and there is external moment m their sum must be equal to 0. So from here you will get moment is equal to w x square over 2 plus uh, sorry uh, w x square minus w x square over 2 plus w l x over 2. Again if you take w over 2 is common so you will get l x minus x square. This is the moment equation. Now you have both the moment and uh, shear force equation 1. Equation 1 is shear force equation, shear force equation, while equation 2 is bending moment. Bending moment equation so with the help of this equation we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram i will copy it oh i will copy it and i will paste over here so that we can easily draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so we will write equation one over here v is equal to v is equal to w into l by 2 minus x so we have both these two equations so for shear force diagram i will draw horizontal vertical lines from the end of the beams and along horizontal line there will be the length of the beam so shear force now you can see at this point you have a reaction force which was w l over 2 and there is also reaction force which was w l over 2 so at this point at this point at x is equal to 0 or you can simply you have this equation so you can put this is equation number and this is your equation number one so for x is equal to zero put in equation one we will get v is equal to w l over two you can see that when x become equal to zero so this equation will be w l over two now for x is equal to l by two so when you put x is equal to l by 2 in this equation so this term will be equal to 0 so it means v is equal to 0 so shear force will be equal to 0 for x is equal to l so put in equation 1 v will become equal to minus w l over 2 so you can put so you have three values this one 0 and this one at so at x is equal to 0 we have uh, v is equal to w let this two division this is w l over 2 at x is equal to l by 2 let this is for example this length is 
L by 2 there so we have shear force 0 at x is equal to L we have shear force is minus W L over 2 which is this point now you can see that uh, this load is a horizontal load so shear force be 1 degree higher and it will be a straight line with slope decreasing so you can join these three points by using a straight line so this will be your shear force diagram now for bending moment diagram again i have to draw a horizontal line and here we will take the bending moment now for x is equal to zero put in equation two equation two equation two is this one so when x is equal to zero so this two whole moment will be equal to zero for x is equal to l over two when you put it in equation number two you will get moment is equal to w l square over eight and for x is equal to for x is equal to l when you put in in equation two you will get moment will be equal to zero so you can put and you can check now we have three at x is equal to zero we have uh, moment is equal to zero so this point at x is equal to l by 2 we have a moment which is uh, let this point is w l square over 8 and at x is equal to l we have moment zero you can see that shear force is a one degree line and the slope is decreasing so bending moment will be second degree curve and that will be clockwise so I will draw it by using a curve there and similarly here we have the same scenario the shear force is a decreasing first degree and decreasing so bending moment will be a curve and it will be a like this one. So this was all about uh, example 6-1 in which we have learned how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram and how to write the equations that is for shear force and bending moment and by then using this equation we have drawn the shear force and bending moment diagram i hope you are enjoying my videos and you are learning from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching